welcome back to my YouTube channel. How's everybody doing? Vibly, vibly, I hope. I'm still on my Beyonce wig. Okay, actually, the wig is called Wig June from the Hair Caterers on Instagram. If you do not know what I'm talking about, check my previous video for my review. This hair is banging. I've had it for about two weeks and everybody is feeling the nigga eh. Anyways, today on the show, we are spilling some entertainment well entertainment slash nollywood tea the tea is hot it is it is it is juicy disclaimer i'm not mentioning any names but honey if the shoe fits lace it up and wear it bitch anyways guys um i asked on instagram what do you guys want me to talk about next being that we bought i'm a boss i gave you two options i said love in lagos or industry ass kisses and y'all voted industry ass kisses so let's get to the video so guys um what i'm gonna do with this video is just basically categorize the ass kisses it's gonna be short and sweet okay we're not gonna waste time okay henna 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 we're not gonna waste no time i'm just gonna cut straight to the bullshit and let you guys know what's up so the first category um or before i start i've been in the industry for about three years now i started out as an intern shout out to miss tajay press for putting me on good Started out as an intern, worked in a couple of places, worked for Pulse. There's scams, by the way. Um, what else? I worked for Fuse, and now I'm with the Beat 99.9 FM. And in my little time in the Hindu street, what I have seen with my eyes, my mouth cannot testify. So I'm going to categorize the ass kissers into, you know, a couple of segments. First segment is non-celebrity ass kissers. Now, these are people that you probably knew before you came into the industry you guys were not necessarily friends but i mean you knew the person if you saw them in public you would say hi now these are the people that don't hit you up for two three years but when they see your instagram starts to pop when they see you are starting to live the baby girl life when they see your picture with this person and they see that you are at that event it's like oh hey what's up how you doing bitch i'm good what you want what you want People like that, once I see their DM, I'm like, Father, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I cast and bind any spirit of favors that these people are about to ask. These are the ones hitting you up like, oh my God, can you quickly help me post this? Oh, can you quickly... I uh, have a friend that has a song. Can you put it on your radio? No. No, 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 like Lady Catherine would say. No, darling, I simply cannot do that. Because you is a bad person. You're a terrible person. You, what's the word? You didn't write for me when I started. When I first started posting up, oh, my YouTube this, my YouTube that. Did you ever, you know, repost? Did you ever even talk to me about it? You've seen me post so many things. Have you ever inquired? But now that it's time for you to ask me for something, it's like, oh, the one that even annoys me is the, oh, hey, baby girl, what's up? Longest time, get to the point. Beg for what you want so I can tell you no. Don't form, oh yeah, I want to know how you've been. It's been such a long minute. One, even came to my DMs, oh yeah, I saw you like two years ago. Really, boo? Really? Really? Do you really want to do that? So my thing with these types of people is, so if I wasn't successful, or if I wasn't on my way to being successful, or if I wasn't doing something that's going to be beneficial to you, in the last three years, you won't hit me up, but now you hit me up because you need a favor. Honey, Cause Daniel, fuck you. The second level of ass kissers, you guys. There's one person in particular. If you are in the industry and you're watching this, you probably know this person. He is a very interesting personality. He is part of the fake it till you make it gang. I was just at a show last week and this guy was there. He had his head so far up everybody's ass we couldn't breathe like everybody just kept looking around like why is this person doing this like i don't know if he was drunk or he was high but kept hugging everybody man you're my day one nigga nobody's your day one we don't like you as much this is somebody i've had a personal experience with who Oh, he invited me for something he was doing. You know, did all the yes, girl, come through, girl. Yes, yes, we got there. She, 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 background, she, bo. We did not see. We we're treated like third class citizens, myself and my friends. And then you now see me at these events, and it's like, oh my god, baby girl, hey, kisses, how you doing? Oh my god, girl.
no 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 it don't work like that boo you not even have the audacity to come to me and ask for a favor honey uh-uh 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 second example is this very popular person that everybody knows his instagram is popping he got married recently really nice guy sure but this guy has a nasty habit that if you are at an event only the celebrities are gonna make it to his instagram he's gonna take pictures with beyonce he wants to take with rihanna he wants to take with lady gaga he wants to take with leonardo dicaprio but when shit hits the fan he comes to people like Ada, people like Jenny, people like Timmy, randoms in his world to talk about the shit that hits the fan. So why are you kissing ass to these people who genuinely, honestly don't even care about you? Like there is the level of fakery and fake love in this industry, you guys, you cannot even begin to imagine it. And it is the people you think that are popping. It is the people who have the most active Instagram accounts that are the worst i mean so there's some people that would would say oh there's an event who's going to be there before they can attend and it's not as if they are special or anything it's just because they want to go and be seen to be hanging with all these people i'm like honey what happened to your self-confidence who killed your love for yourself i don't i've never understood why you know you would come to an event and the people who are actually your friends that will write for you are not the ones you are trying to take pictures with you're trying to take pictures with people who genuinely don't give a shit about you like for me it's very irritating because when you leave the room we all hear how these people talk about you like give yourself small prestige you understand rise up then i think third category are the women I don't know why women in the industry cannot love their self. They are sleeping with the same men. They are, you know, going on the same trips, paid for by the same guys. They are wearing, all wearing the fake stuff. They are all wearing the stuff that is rented and returned. But yes, you cannot love yourself. There's all the same thing that should be flocking together. Now, the, the female ass kissers in the industry are the ones that... They roll with the big girls. They roll with the entities. They roll with the... You know some other people i can't mention their names because i'm just in the industry i'm just starting before they catch me and use me to do some papers you guys get it. but um my thing with those type of people is you don't have shit you don't have a talent you probably have a couple of instagram followers because half of the shit you're wearing is borrowed you're sleeping with somebody's husband you've done countless abortions but yet you want to feel among honey Find what your talent is, but don't be sad when you find out you don't have any. Don't don't feel like you need to hang out with certain types of people as a babe to make it. Like, look inside yourself. Look for something about you that is special. You know, these girls are the ones you see in the clubs, you know, with their phones, you know, Snapchatting, blah, blah, blah. These hairs are borrowed. These clothes belong to their friends. Those shoes are not their own. But they will kiss us, they will come, oh, air kisses, and 80% of the time, these celebrities they are kissing us too, probably don't even remember who they are, but on to say everybody doesn't want to be seen as proud or seen as, oh, unfriendly, it's like, yeah, let's just give them the air kisses and go. You look hella stupid, boo. You look hella, 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 hella stupid. And then I think the last set of ass kisses are the unconscious ass kissers the ones that are generally just friendly people but their friendliness is now coming off as slightly stalkerish slightly i want to belong there's nothing wrong with wanting to belong because i mean everybody wants to have a place in the world right but by the time you're doing it by pretending to be who you're not that i have a problem with like okay I was at an event with a couple of females, um, and there's one particular person in the group we all didn't like, right? We didn't like her, but it's like, mm, maybe we just did go. If we're not carrying this person, go. They didn't like go. They like seeing her fight. Now, the reason we didn't like this person is she's the one to borrow my hair, borrow my friend's shoes, borrow my. And then when this girl puts these outfits together on the gram, woo! Tag Gucci, tag Good Hair Limited. Tag nails did it. Tag Fendi. Ta Honey, if Fendi checked their accounts, they did not see transferred from you. So why are you tagging them? It's not your own. Snap your picture and go. 
I mean, I have no problems with, okay, maybe I have an event right now and I can't put an outfit together very quickly. Oh, guy, I beg, wear your black skirt. I wear it and I return it. But I'm not about to go on Instagram with someone else's things and try and, you know, there are so many people in the industry people don't even know about. I'm not shitting you. That are out there slaying with borrowed slash rented stuff. There are stores in Lagos that rent these people clothes. They are broke as bitches. I'm a broke as bitch. I'm not, you know, popping yet. I'm going to get there. I'm going to stop being broke. But you don't see me living beyond my means. This hair is 17K. Anybody that ain't pepper their body. Mm -hmm. Anybody that didn't pepper their body. Mm -hmm. It's none of my business. I'm not going to live beyond my means. I'm not going to kiss ass to certain people who I know don't even particularly like me. Maybe they tolerate me. And you're there making a fool of yourself. 80% of the friendships you guys see from the gram are not real. See, if I open this, my mouth and start to talk. Eh? They will kill me. They will hire as I say, personally for me. They will find them. Um, what's this guy? John Wick will come for me. So, children of God... I'm just gonna leave leave it at not every single celebrity you see on Instagram popping is actually popping in real life. I'm just gonna leave it at this. Not every celebrity you see or influencer you see on Instagram is popping. Most of them, you know, return stuff that they use. A couple of them borrow stuff that they use. And quite a few of them are, they have a disease. It's called ass kissing. Um, hopefully we can rid them of it very quickly. My, 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 advice to everybody really is there's no i i'm not a strong believer in fake it till you make it i believe in package yourself the best you can till you no longer need to package yourself like there's nothing wrong with you know having cheaper hair or having hair that is not from a big brand because you want to tag them on instagram a lot of these celebrities that you see doing all of this are probably friends with the owners or they're getting these things because they have following and they want people like you who are not in the industry to go crazy and buy you guys are out there spending all your money getting these things when these celebrities are either getting it for free or they are returning it but they are living the baby girl lifestyle they're getting a million likes oh yeah everybody wants it everybody wants it so my advice to everybody is outside the industry is it's not as rosy as it seems not everybody's friends with each other a lot of them wigs get laundered and returned a lot of them shoes get cleaned and put back into their bag for the owner and a lot of the friendships, I think. So, if you be trying to, you know, find a role model, I have no problems with finding role models, but don't put yourself on high jump because you see a celebrity or an influencer on Instagram doing it. And for that guy that was really, really ass kissing at the Ducey party, honey, we could all see through the bullshit. It's frankly very irritating. You already are such a hyperactive, know it all slightly irritating person so let's just let's you know cap it let's because yo if i spoke with the 10 people about you seven and a half have said the same thing he does the most nobody really likes him just you know know your friends and don't be calling everybody they want because we're not really guys like that okay anyways guys that's it for the show today nobody should come for me Please, dears, I'm in my house. This is not to offend anybody. This is just advice. I'm just saying it as, you know, the spirit direct. But for everybody that, you know, expected so much more tea from this, <laughs> I was hoping you guys would pick love in Lagos so I can actually give you people tea. But with this one, people know I'm in the industry. I don't want to die. I don't want to die for my time. For my enemies to come and find me. I'm the only child my mother gave birth to. Please, children of God. Okay? I'll see you guys in my next video. And I've decided whether you guys like it or not. The next video is going to be love in Lagos. All the men that have wronged me. If you know you don't want your name to come up in the next video, credit my account. Or better still, buy me Amala. And then I'll raise your name from the book of, book of casted people. Are we good? Is we good? Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Shout out to the hair caterers for this hair. It is giving me pure vibes. Beyonce, Beyonce vibes. And I will see you guys in my next video. Toodles.